Hello, my name is Benjamin Mann. I'm a genitourinary medical oncologist at the Huntsman Cancer Center in Salt Lake City, Utah at the University of Utah. I had the privilege of participating in a study uh, where we were looking at a real world data set um, to interrogate the experience for patients treated with intensified therapy that had metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer. Uh, so there's been a lot of previous research from prospective clinical trials like Latitude, Charted, Titan, others, showing that in clinical trial patients, the early PSA response was a strong predictor of overall survival for these patients. So what we were trying to replicate is to see if the PSA dynamics, the, the early PSA response to those dynamics, also predict overall survival in patients in a real-world data set. Oftentimes, real world data is not as uh, effective, for instance, um, or perhaps sometimes is shown to be more toxic than what is observed in prospective clinical trials. So again, we wanted to determine if, if this robustness of PSA kinetics played out in this real world data set. And in, and in this uh, concert AI real world data set, we were looking at specifically the response from ADT plus apalutamide. Um, the reason that we picked this combination is that we had a prospective clinical trial that we could sort of compare or benchmark the results against. So in this clinical trial, or excuse me, in the clinical trial of Titan, again, we saw that the PSA kinetics, i.e. does an undetectable PSA at three months predict overall survival, and it does. So in our real world data set, we followed the exact same time frame. We looked at the three month time frame for patients that achieved an undetectable PSA compared to those patients who did not at any time point achieve an undetectable PSA. And the hazard ratio was strongly in favor of an undetectable PSA being a, a good or favorable prognostic indicator. We also looked at a, a third group of patients that at some time point later than three months achieved an undetectable PSA. And these patients also had a much more favorable prognosis than patients who never achieved an undetectable PSA. So again, even in a real world data set, PSA kinetics are strongly predictive of overall survival. Interestingly, uh, for me, one of the most interesting findings is that the, the overall survival uh, uh, results were identical to what we saw in the clinical trial population. And so this suggests to me that this combination is, is a, a very effective and uh, useful. And even in patients that are more frail or that have more comorbidities, et cetera. And again, the PSA kinetics also give us a good indication of, of eventual overall survival response. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.